what if the robots weren't just machines, but breathtakingly lifelike companions? From the breathtaking factories in Japan to the world-changing advances in AI and robotics, the world is moving towards an era where the machines speak, walk, and in some cases, love. In this clip, the ultra-realistic female robots riveting the world and the shocking, controversial, and captivating reality about the machines making science fiction a reality. The world's very first humanoid robot to become an international superstar. With an expressive face, artificial intelligence, and a dash of humor, she was built to be the face of the future. It was an exciting tech milestone at the start, yet soon enough, it turned into an explosive debate about ethics, genuineness, and the place of AI in the world. Sophia was developed by Hanson Robotics, an AI firm in Hong Kong that made lifelike humanoid robots. She was programmed to capture human-like feelings, answer in the moment, and even engage in in-depth conversations. Because of sophisticated AI and machine learning, she could joke, flirt, and give opinions. Although many answers were already prepared for her, Sophia rose to fame like no robot before. She headlined talk shows, presented at international conferences, and interviewed celebrities. In 2017, the robot was granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia, making the robot the very first in history to be recognized as an actual citizen. The ruling ignited worldwide uproar. Can an apparatus have rights? And if that is the case, then human rights in nations where humans, particularly women, continue to battle for basic freedoms. No matter the adoration, many experts began questioning if Sophia was really an AI advantage or merely an expertly crafted deception. AI scientists emphasized that the majority of conversations were scripted and that the robot didn't really think and feel. She only responded based on algorithm. Experts at the company Engineered Arts have unveiled how their new and most sophisticated robots, known as Mesmer, come into being. Mesmer robots incorporate the latest robotics and animation technology to achieve human-like and convincing looks. One of the standout aspects of the Mesmer robot is the skin. The artificial skin produced from special silicone not only looks like human skin, but it is also elastic, enabling it to mimic everyday movement and facial expressions. Various small motors and sensors inside the robot manage the facial features and gestures with accuracy. This allows Mesmer to convey an array of feelings from happiness to sorrow, making them all the more convincing in interaction with humans. Engineered Arts developed the control system that lets the Mesmer robot not only react to external stimuli, but it can learn from human interactions as well. What if you could create your ideal partner, someone who listens all the time, never quarrels, and is absolutely committed to you? For some, the fantasy is now no longer just fantasy. In 2017, a company named Realbotics launched Harmony AI, the humanoid robot for relationships, intimacy, and, if you will, love. But the experiment in technology soon turned into one of the most controversial discussions in AI history. Harmony was the invention of Matt McMullen, the CEO of Realbotics, who spent more than 20 years designing very realistic dolls. But while his earlier work was merely physical, Harmony was not just an inanimate object. She was equipped with artificial intelligence, enabling her to respond to conversations, learn about her user, and acquire an idiosyncratic personality. Through an app on the user's smartphone, the user could tailor Harmony's features, voice, and character traits. The robot could be programmed to be cheeky, reserved, or snappish. Over the passage of time, she would remember nuances about the user's life, preferences, and aversions. Each encounter would seem all the more personal, all the more real. Harmony AI soon turned into a lightning rod for scandal. Some regarded it as an exciting leap forward in AI companionship for those who find sociality difficult for the lonely. Others, however, were afraid of the social fallout. Would AI companions persuade individuals away from normal relationships? Would they warp human feelings and create the wrong expectations about love? This is how the mass production process for high quality silicone ultimately used for the production of ultra realistic robot skin such as that for the Mesma project looks like. The whole process goes through at the special manufacturing center. Such silicone is not only in high demand for the production of robot skin, but it is extensively used in the production of special kitchenware and children's products for its softness, health, safety, and durability. The process starts with the preparation of the silicone, the base material, which arrives in the form of soft, 
soft, flexible silicone. Silicone may be colored and mixed with pigments for products if colored goods are needed. The silicone is then subjected to heat and poured into special molds. Such molds consist of metal, and under high pressure and temperature, the silicone acquires the necessary shape. After molding, the silicone is cooled and solidified in order to acquire the necessary strength. It then goes through the finishing stage, where the extra edges are trimmed and the quality is thoroughly checked. Sometimes it goes through manual finishing too. Any stage in the process goes hand in hand with rigorous quality control. The company uses automated technology in organizing the manufacturing process, making it high volume while controlling quality perfectly. EOS X Spaces. Would you like to spend a couple of hours floating high above the Earth right on the edge of space? If so, Spanish company EOS X Space has just the experience for you. Starting this year, they're preparing for the first commercial launches of their luxury stratospheric capsules, and the journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Inside the capsule, you'll join six other passengers and a pilot as you ascend up to 40 kilometers above the planet's surface. From there, you'll be treated to panoramic views of the Earth's curvature and the deep black of space. The ride is quiet, smooth, and designed for comfort. There's no rocket involved. Instead, the capsule is lifted gently by a massive helium balloon, making the entire experience feel like a slow motion dream. It's not fast. The total trip takes about six hours, including the ascent and descent, but that just gives you more time to relax and soak in the view. And yes, there's a mini bar on board. EOS X wants this to be more than just a science experiment. It's about luxury, exploration, and unforgettable memories. The ticket price? Around $160,000. Expensive, sure, but for those who can afford it, a few hours in the stratosphere might just be the most breathtaking journey on Earth. Hyundai engineers can't resist dazzling the public with visionary concept cars. Electric rickshaws, hydrogen-powered crossovers, you name it. The South Korean engineers appear never short on vision or ambition when it comes to remaking the way we get about. One of their most audacious and daring concepts premiered at CES, a full-scale model of the Concept X electric excavator. It may never leave the prototype stage and go into mass production, but if it does, this machine could remake the face of the construction site. Why? Because it would operate with no human driver, no remote control. Instead, the enormous excavator would be controlled by an advanced automated system fueled by artificial intelligence. That system would not only dig, it would read terrain data, make operational judgments, lay out the most efficient work patterns, and even talk with other machines in order to optimize workflow throughout the job site. Think robot, self-thinking, self-planning, capable of heavy work with no hands on the throttle. Hyundai describes it as an advanced toward smart, zero-emission building, a vision where efficiency, convenience, and sustainability all converge. It's still in the realm of the abstract, certainly, but it suggests the direction in which the next generation of automation and heavy equipment may be headed. The future may dig its own holes. Chinese firm XCMG, for many years renowned for its heavy industrial and building equipment, enters the next chapter with assistance from Brazilian mine giant Vale. Their collaboration resulted in the XDR80TE, an advanced electric mine dump truck, but they left it at that. They pushed it further still, introducing the XDR80TE-AT, the concept variant that presents two modes of operation. The first is an enhanced remote control mode. Operators remain in the control seat, albeit remotely, and get in real-time data as well as live sound from the location, providing greater safety and immersion than conventional remote systems. The second mode is the really advanced part, autonomy. Here the truck doesn't require any human presence whatsoever. It drives through the mine area and building zones all on its own, courtesy onboard AI and sensor banks. It identifies obstructions, tracks predetermined courses, and makes sharp turns according to information it receives, with no human intervention. To enable non-stop running, the truck has a quick swap swapping system for batteries. Rather than spend hours charging, the batteries can be swapped out in six minutes, eliminating downtime while keeping things running high speed. This prototype demonstrates XCMG's dedication to combining AI, automation, and greenness into next-gen heavy machinery, pushing trucks beyond their limits.
Ski resort in the middle of the desert? Why not? Enter Trojina. This marvel of technology and engineering will soon emerge from the desert sands in Saudi Arabia by 2026. And if all goes according to plan, it will proudly accommodate the 2029 Asian Winter Games. This isn't a crazy notion. It's an integral part of the ambitious Enion project, a vision for the region's super city, with the aim of revolutionizing the ways we live, work, and play. In keeping with the initial blueprints, the 60 square kilometer sprawl will seamlessly integrate nature and architectural forms. The resort itself will comprise half a dozen different areas, each its own independent entity with its own identity and function. One of the features will be an alpine style chalet area, conceived to evoke the experience of being in an actual village in the mountains, albeit in the middle of the desert. And the skiing? Yes, actual skiing due in large part to the geography at high altitudes and the application of new cooling technologies, the slopes in Trojana will be actual snow-covered slopes, a phenomenon that hasn't been previously observed in the area, but it doesn't end there. The public will be able to watch the Red Sea for its drama, as well as experience state-of-the-art wellness facilities, along with an array of outdoor activities revolving around an artificial freshwater lake, a snow wonderland in the desert. It sounds impossible, perhaps, but it appears that Trojana is dead set on making it it happened.